Hello guys, welcome back to Mala P channel, where you can learn more interesting information about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, we'll take a look at the career and some interesting facts of one of the most popular action film stars of all time, Jackie Chan. Fang Shi Long, born Chan Kong Sang, known professionally as Jackie Chan, is a Hong Kong-born Chinese actor, filmmaker, martial artist, and stuntman. He was born on April 7th. 1954 at Victoria Peak, British Hong Kong, and is now 67 years old. Chan is one of the most recognizable and influential film personalities in the world, with a widespread global following in both the Eastern and Western Hemispheres. He has been acting since the 1960s, performing in more than 150 films, and is known for his slapstick acrobatic fighting style, comic timing, and innovative stunts which he typically performs himself. Chan was born to Charles and Li Li Chan, refugees from the Chinese Civil War. He grew up on the grounds of French Consul as his parents worked for the French ambassador. Chan was enrolled in the China Drama Academy not long after he failed his first year primary school. In this school, Chan learned acrobatics and martial arts for the first time, excelling in both areas and becoming one of the school's brightest students. In the late 70s, Jackie Chan moved to Australia, where his parents were working for the American Embassy. He worked as a construction worker for a time, and this is when he earned the nickname Jackie. Chan married Joan Ling Feng Chao, a Taiwanese actress, in 1982. Their son, singer and actor J.C. Chan, was born that same year. Chen has an illegitimate daughter named Ada Ang Chok Lam, born in 1999. The result of his affair with Miss Asia in 1990, Elaine Wu. This turned into a scandal within the media and one of the biggest scandals of Chen's career. Jackie Chan's career in acting started off when he was a little boy of five, where he would make appearances as a child actor. After a slew of other minor roles, Chen was signed to Great Earth Film Company and worked as a stunt man, which was proven to be a valuable launching platform for his later career. A major breakthrough came when Jackie Chan was able to put his trademark comedic skills to use in the 1970s The Snake in the Eagle Shadow. The same year, he also starred in Drunken Master, which was one of Jackie Chan's most iconic performances and finally propelled him to mainstream success. After a number of other similar films, Chen was ready to tackle the national film industry. With the half of manager, Willie Chan, the actor started to land roles in Hollywood blockbusters, starting with The Big Bra in 1980. Chen frequently traveled back to Hong Kong to work on various films and started to experiment with even more daring stunts, and this gained the attention of an international audience. This continued into the 90s and the 2000s, and Jackie Chan slowly became the sought-after addition to various Hollywood movies. His Hollywood breakthroughs including movies like Rush Hour series, Shanghai Noon, and his sequel, Shanghai Night, The Forbidden Kingdom, The Karate Kid, and more. Chan has received global recognition for his film acting and stunt work. His accolades include the Innovator Award from the American Choreography Awards and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Taurus Wars Stunt Awards. He has stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Hong Kong Avenue Starts.
Here is the top 10 list of Jackie Chan's best movies of his career, according to IMDb. The Legend of Drunken Master, 1994. Police Story, 1985. Dragon's Forever, 1988. Project A, 1983. Project A Part 2, 1987 Rush Hour, 1998 Mr. Nice Guy, 1997 Police Story 2, 1988 First Strike, 1996 Shanghai Noon, 2000. As of 2022, Jackie Chan's net worth is of $520 million. Besides his house in Beijing, the film star also owns real estate in California, Miami, Australia, Phuket Island, and Hong Kong. The French inspired villa in Beverly Hills, California, with $3 million, is one of its houses. The lavish house features six bedrooms, five bathrooms, three fireplaces, a pool, and many amenities. Jackie may be one of the most simple-looking and humble celebrities you know, but the man has an eye for style, and his Lamborghini Aventador is a proof to that. The design of this Aventador was done according to Jackie Chan's taste and preference, with a titanium gray color while the calipers of the brake are coated in red. It's one of the best Lamborghinis ever to be created, and probably the most prized car in Jackie's collection is worth a costly $354,000. Jackie Chan and Mitsubishi have a special kind of relationship. So much so that Mitsubishi even named a car after him and made only 50 Jackie Chan Special Edition Evo 9 with a starting price of a whopping $77,000. Jackie Chan's favorite car from his collection is said to be Subaru Impreza WRX STI. It might not be the most glamorous or fastest cars on the block, but it sure is reliable and price is reasonable $32,000. Jackie Chan is probably best known as an action star, but is also a talented singer. He's an operatically trained vocalist and is also a can of pop and metal pop star having released a number of music albums and sung many of the theme songs for the films in which he has starred. Chan speaks Cantonese, Mandarin, English, and American Sign Language, and also speaks some German, Korean, Japanese, Spanish, and Thai. In his early film career, Jackie Chan got to work on stunt coordinations with famous martial arts superstar Bruce Lee in two different films, including the classic film Enter the Dragon. He influenced me a lot. Set Chan in an interview, I'd admire him and the way he would talk. Since 2013, Chan has been a pro communist politician, serving in the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. After the Hong Kong electoral reform in 2021, Chan became an election committee member and could vote for the chief executive. Are you a fan of this amazing actor? Leave a comment and let us know and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Malapi channel.